Thank you. And, and thank you so much, Ed. There is not a day that goes by that honestly, Ed, I say thank God for you every day. <laughs> every day. I could literally stand up here all night and tell you how truly remarkable my guy Ed is. But I'm here to talk about women in music. Which brings me to my dear friend and mentor, Lior Cohen. I love you, Lior. Lior was my first boss in this business. He hired me 25 years ago, straight from Teach for America, with no music industry experience. He taught me about leadership, what it means to build real artist relationships, and the importance of a creative, future-focused culture. He also instilled in me the obligation to be a good mentor. I see so many of my peers in this room, and I think about our journeys and the mentors we had. We grew up in a very different business. I remember the first Women in Music event. 20 of us were honored. There might have been 50 of us in that room. For a long time, this industry has been a male-dominated sport. Now more than ever, it's incumbent on every one of us to raise up the next generation of female leaders. So at the future Women in Music events, the Executive of the Year will stand up here and thank a woman for, her, for being her mentor. We all know what it took to transform our companies over the last 15 years. Now it's time to change the industry for the better. It's all right here in how we support each other and how we're committed to providing young women with a safer environment free from harassment and discrimination. It's even in how we encourage women to start a family and grow their career at the same time. Yeah. As wonderful as this business is, it's also incredibly challenging. I debated with my head of PR, Sheila Richman, who is also a mom and the best PR person in the planet, why I'm standing up here, Sheila. I love you. Whether or not I should stand up here and acknowledge how hard it truly is to be a boss of a big company and a mom of a small family. For everyone who asks, the juggle is real. Raising two kids and seeing thousands of shows has been no easy feat. But my secret is I'm surrounded by great people. And my secret sauce is that 50% of my company are women. Yep. Two of them are also being honored tonight. Shout out to Andrew Gannis, Camille Hackney, and my partner, Elise Rogers from APG. I'm so proud of the company we all built these last 14 years, and thank you to the entire Atlantic team and all our affiliated labels. You guys go above and beyond. Craig? Where are you, Craig? Right there. Our partnership is one for the history books. You're not only the greatest record maker, but you're the best straight man in the business. <laughs> I'm so lucky you, could, you signed your new 50-year deal. Ahmed is smiling down. And to my work husband, Michael Kaiser, who reminds me daily, I'm now the old woman in the club? Well, I'll remind you that I'm the longest relationship you've ever been in. <laughs> 25 years and still going strong. And to Max Masada, who locked arms with us from across the pond to rebuild Atlantic Records into the global powerhouse it has now become. I couldn't imagine this journey without you guys. And I want to also express my sincere gratitude to all of the artists I've had the privilege of working with for the past 25 years. I am so proud that you guys honored Kelly and Kilani, who are also being honored, because they both represent the best in women in not only their great talent, but in their kindness and ability to inspire so many. I love you both. There you are. Kilani somewhere. You know, but I really wouldn't be up here if it wasn't for my parents. My dad who drilled into my head that I could do anything in the world as long as I put my, mom, my mind to it. And my mom, the greatest role model in the world. My mom raised four daughters. She built a successful business with my father and committed an enormous amount of time to various charities in upstate New York. She had all the patience and love in the world to share with everyone. She made me believe that I too could do it all. Which brings me to my family, to my hubby Lewis, who is back in New York holding down the fort. I owe him my two amazing children and probably my sanity. I was lucky enough to meet him while I was working with LL Cool J and he was at, at MTV Music Supervising the Beavis and Butthead soundtrack. <laughs> it's been 22 years of music, love and laughter. 
And to my wonderful two children, Eli and Lulu, you know, they had to grow up with a mom who constantly reminded them that she knew more about rap music than they ever would. <laughs> it was tough for them to be teenagers. But I'll tell you this, I love you so much, and Jay-Z is still the best. And thank you to Billboard, seriously, for this honor, and congratulations to all the women in this room. We are so truly blessed to be doing what we love. Thank you.